Welcome everyone, Questini here with Total War Warhammer 3 with my campaign guide for Foregrown Grudge Bearer and how to win his campaign. And when I say win, I mean getting to a position where it is going to be practically impossible to lose and you're just going to get stronger and stronger from that point. While you may lose territory in certain armies, you're going to be in an unstoppable position. Okay. So first things first that we want to do over here is we want to turn Karazakarak into a tier 2 settlement and we also want to get the gem mineshaft. We don't want the growth building because we're going to get one immediately after our first battle over here because there's an idol uh, building over there. So yeah, just get the gem mineshaft first things first and then get the trade agreement to Zufbar. You want to do this diplomacy as you're starting the campaign and then go to Karl Franz and declare war on Kazrak over here in this particular campaign and then also declare war on Tempelhof with Vlad. You might be able to get the peace agreement with Tempelhof when they're about to be wiped out but obviously you're not going to be able to do that with Kazrak. And that will be essentially it in terms of the initial declarations of war. You can also go to Skarsnik and declare war on um, the Crooked Moon Mutinous Gits if you want to. But that's not necessary and it might be harmful. When it comes to declarations of war, you want to be a bit careful with certain factions that you declare war on. Because given your campaign position, you do have a lot of factions that you do share a border with. So, you know, for instance, I could uh, go over here very quickly and declare war on Scrag if I wanted to, but I do not want to at this point. Okay, so we're going, like I'm only using two mods, Outer Resolve mod and Toggle Fog of War. But if you're playing a Dwarf campaign, one of the things I firmly recommend that you do is you use something like the Unforgotten Dwarfs mod and Craftable Dwarf uh, Replenishment. The second one is particularly important. Dwarfs have a really good Outer Resolve even by default. You might still take some a lot of damages from battles, but it's kind of ridiculous how powerful their armies are. Like outside of some very powerful lords like Vlad, even your secondary tertiary armies, if built correctly, will be able to devastate a lot of foes. And even Vlad can be dealt with in more ways than one. Regardless, what you want to do in this first battle, you want to drink to victory. The reason is, this particular effect is really powerful. It gives you growth, it gives you control, and it gives you income. But more importantly, you can see that's going to last two turns here. But when we take this particular settlement and we just want to occupy it because regular post, the dwarf post battle loot, at least early on in the campaign, is pretty awful, the duration gets increased by quite a bit. I think it's because we enter a settlement. I'm not quite sure how that works, but basically you want to take advantage. I think it's like if you go into a settlement with that effect, the duration gets increased. Research-wise, you want to start getting High King Authority, but you want to do it one research at a time. You do have things like Students and Archivists when you're playing a Dwarf campaign. So that can be incredibly useful in this particular campaign. So this is the initial plan. You do have Skarsenik right here, right next to you. And you do have some grudges. Specifically, you have a really good grudge against Skarsenik that gives you the Master Rune of Spite. But here's the thing to know about that. When you're dealing with Skarsnik, and you will certainly easily deal with Skarsnik, you have to make sure that that fifth battle is not the one that wipes him out. So you might want to sack his capital as the fifth battle, or you might have to sack his capital several times. But make sure you don't destroy faction. You might like be in the camp stand, sack the capital, complete the quest, and then take the settlement on the same turn. Just make sure you're not eliminating the faction, because then it's going to bug out. It will complete the grudge, it will, it will remove it from the grudge meter, but it will not give you the reward. In terms of recruitment, you do want to get master miners with blasting charges and dwarf warriors. Um, and that will be turn one. Okay, now Skarsnik is always going to do the same thing over and over again. He, at least on this difficulty, this is legendary, very hard. On lower difficulties, he might behave in a different... Uh, different way but just bear in mind something daughters of mods don't really change that much in terms of ai behavior or it can but not necessarily in a substantial way what does change the ai behavior very substantially is the battle difficulty so if you and obviously the campaign difficulty because that's going to give the ai more resources to have more armies 
but that battle difficulty makes the AI more or less aggressive. It also affects auto resolve. So basically, the auto resolve mods I'm using kind of nullify that to an extent. Also, <laughs> allow me to not have to fight as many crappy manual battles. Though, it should be pointed out that by default, dwarves have an incredibly powerful auto resolve benefit, in particular with settlements. The reason they do so is one, every settlement in the game. Every settlement in the game has a significant auto resolve benefit by default. I'm using mods to remove that, you can find them in the description. Importantly about this is the fact uh, that when you're looking at this kind of situation, uh, what's important to understand about dwarf garrisons is like every dwarf unit is heavily armored. So like even basic miners, which you can recruit from any settlement and are part of every garrison, they have AT armor. So what that means is really that you can have a, a, a settlement in a campaign from very, very early on that uh, you can have a lot of settlements in a campaign that can obliterate a lot of armies that have a poor out resolve result, specifically Skaven. That's important because your neighbors would treach. And that's something worth remembering. Going to get requisition for the sake of the ammunition. And what we want to get, because we're going to use them, is to get tactician for the ammunition for Coralers. You do start with two. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem dealing with Skarsnik early on in your game, regardless. So, and I'm going to switch to empower the guild's commandment until I get this barracks to tier 2. And then I am going to switch to a local crew capacity. Now, you will want to deal with Skarsnik in this campaign as quickly as possible. You don't want to wait on that. Like, the first priority is to destroy Skarsnik. There's several reasons behind that. While Tretch may become a problem in this campaign, it is a maybe where Skarsnik will always become a problem in this campaign if you let him to. I mean, he's... He's the weakest of the Greenskin Legendary Lords, but he's still a Greenskin. Remember that aspect about dealing with Skarsnik. So, okay. We attack this particular settlement right here. Just declare war on Skarsnik. And that's going to be the first battle. And Skarsnik is likely going to counterattack immediately after. Also remember that. So, you may, so if you're playing vanilla, don't out-resolve these battles. You may think you can get away with it, but just remember Skarsnik is going to come for you. So just get Tactician over here and start getting some income over here in the settlement. Next turn, it's going to be transformed into a tier 2 settlement on turn 4 over there. And we can start getting better and better diplomatic yes. relations with Zufbar. One of the principal benefits that you do have in this campaign as opposed to playing as Ungram is you have good relations with Zufbar. Why exactly Ungram has bad relations with Zufbar? I couldn't answer that. But regardless. Tier 2, Karazak Harak. It's kind of annoying having to recruit infantry from the very beginning of your campaign because honestly I would much rather... And yes, then you see him attacking. This may seem like it is a very significant battle, but in reality, it, it is very winnable. It's very easy to win it, in point of fact, at this particular battle. Like, the only concern here is the Ragnarok. Yes, there's two armies, there's a lot of nasty Skullikers, but you corner camp, you use the Jar Bomber, uh, and while he has a huge amount of power on those nasty Skullikers, he's not particularly great in a battle himself. So that odd resolve result is, by the way, pure baloney, <laughs> if you will. Like, even with mods to help with odd resolve, some of the results you're going to see are utter rubbish. Though, if you're struggling with that, you can always wait an extra turn uh, and before you attack him, get a couple more dwarf warriors and win. So not really a problem. It doesn't matter all that much. Okay, so we got the first quest battle magic. over here with with him. Be sure to put your oath gold to good. And the game is gonna constantly remind you about that. Let's talk a bit about oath gold, but first we're going to get the refactory. We're gonna start turning these elements into tier two elements. We're going to start getting artillery as well. 
So that's the second bell. Well, third bell, really. I could wait another uh, another turn over here. Now, one important thing, students, archivists, no, I didn't get any right now. Oh, no, actually, I got an archivist, which is really good. Uh, Skill-wise, get more... Like, you really want that movement range to be increased as quickly as possible, and you want a tactician as well. And then we're going to just teleport. We're going to lose some of those dwarf warriors, but it's not really a problem. Duration seven right. turns. Just gonna recruit more miners. We will get rid of them, but it's just like for the initial stage. So Skarsnik is effectively eliminated. And now we want to get triangulation. And I actually want to recruit Grugni. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, we can save a lot of money here for that. Like, that's one of the things you might want to... In fact, I think I'm going to save this particular lord. Because he does have a really good trait that you can take advantage of early on. So that did save me some money. And now Skarsnik is just going to collapse very, very easily in this particular campaign. Next quest battle, so that was the first quest battle. The next quest battle will be issued at rank 12, which we're gonna get to very quickly. Though it's not necessarily the easiest in the world. So that's the third battle against Garsnik. We're gonna have to fight two more. And I'm just using miners as a stopgap. The reason I recruited that lord in particular, by the way, is because I want, uh, because I'm going to get Gotrek and Felix. You build the roof factory, you get Gotrek and Felix near your capital, because the capital is going to be the first element to be at tier 2. I might keep this lord, though. So there's Gotrek and Felix. Though the supply line situation would absolutely hurt me. What malign beast must we face so I may want to disband him. The reason is Gotrek and Felix have no upkeep. Now all we want to do is we want to switch the commandment to recruitment. And start marching for Grim. Very well over here towards Mount Gunbad. Maybe even get those Ekron miners just for the, uh, the sake of it, right? Though obviously in the regular battle, in that quest battle, I wouldn't have um, lost so many units. If you can't win the quest battle so early on, it's not really a problem, it doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, the experience is obviously pretty useful, but that's not really important. Just gonna declare war on the top knots over here for the vision that I just gained, and just pay attention to what's going on. Sylvania's uh, temple half is gone. Sylvania is gonna march onward. Now this is the point where we start getting into a lot of bullshit. But this is one of the powers of the dwarves. See, I'm since I'm using an resolve mod, I'm not gonna go crazy here, but you can do some pretty insane stuff over here with the forge. That is very significant. I really hope they revamp this system because it's so tedious, like genuinely in the most, like it's not a bad system, it obviously is powerful, but Jesus, this tedious as hell to do. Okay. So you can keep merging items until you get stuff that's useful. Like Trickster Helm over there, for instance. And obviously you can transfer those over to other heroes when you get more stuff. So we want to get that uh, commandment. So I'm putting my growth on hold, though. 
it is going to start growing pretty quickly. I wonder... Hold on. Yep. Now, Scar Sink will be a problem over here. Bit of a problem, anyway. There is a bit of a slow start, I know it's tedious, but getting that Master Rune Spite is such a real powerhouse item that it's not even funny. And you might not even want to put it on Forgrim's army, you might want to put it on your secondary or tertiary army. Because of its significant level of strength. Some vision that I got. Don't ask me why. How? What? Scars. Retake the realms. Ready? Aye, it will better our cause. Okay, we can just attack it. We'll take some damage, but we'll recover damage. from some. That's the fourth one. Next turn is going to be the fifth one. We sack it. We'll sack it again next turn. Some casualties. But not really significant. Move uh, Gotrek and Felix over there. Start getting this element to a higher level. And start doing global recruitment. Do fire 12 pounders. So now we've got the tier 2 settlement. We're gonna start getting artillery recruitment in just a turn. We can even trigger a rebellion if we so want to over here in this particular settlement by just looting and occupying the settlement. How long, Rim? I'm sure I'll take a trade agreement. Kazrak is finished. He doesn't necessarily accomplish all that much. Gotta feel bad for a beastman. All of their AI controlled factions are utter rubbish. I mean, I guess that's always been the case. Okay. Final bow. Sack this element. And that's a Master Rune of Spite right there. And then take it over. And trigger their rebellion, hopefully. Either way, we're gonna get that gold mine. Born to die. And we got that special skill line, and we've unlocked the next quest battle. Obstinacy, full plate armor. The High King acts. To war. Just gonna merge these guys Send together, to get rid of this one. Retake the uh, quest battle, uh, or rather rebellion, may not happen necessarily here. Unfortunately. So we want to get a bunch of quarrelers. Do a combination of quarrelers with gray weapons and regular quarrelers. Regular uh, quarrelers with gray weapons are better in melee. Regular quarrelers are better against range since you're going to be dealing with Skaven. Combination of the two is pretty good. Uh, the reason is because obviously Skaven do have range weaponry. Quite a lot of it. Quite very powerful. So that missile block chance that you get from the shields, pretty useful to have. Now, something's going to happen over here very, that's very important once you get to rank 12. And this is something that can really help your campaign or m might not have an impact at all. It's not strictly important that you do it, but there is a significant benefit in your campaign if you pull it off. Though it may not necessarily happen. So you get your second quest battle. What is important here... I guess I shouldn't have looted and occupied that element. It doesn't matter. The runes are cast. All right, let's get that Gorog. And we're going to want... Good question. 
Good freaking question. Let's get more. It is time! Troll Slayer! And that! Although, I fucked up. I'll just do an next turn. It's not the most important. Like, obviously, it would have been ideal. Still, one turn shouldn't hurt me much. <laughs> anyway, but I'll explain what. Uh, I'll show what's gonna happen here. We do still have that level, of, high level of control. We're gonna get more. Our grudges are settled, so to speak. So we're in a good position with grudges. So we're getting decent level of control from grudges. We're gonna get more from the sake of, um, like faction benefit wise, you do get the benefit in commandments. So all commandments are more powerful. You can get the additional potentially uh, additional rewards. We get the imperial wardens showing up to our capital. You're probably gonna have some cafe and caravans showing up. Okay, uh, let's get a recruiting surplus, because we're recruiting. Good. Axe and over here, Good we're run. just going to transfer a lot of this stuff. That's it, throne bearers. Keep me upright. Okay. Garage. And now we want to... I could have done it earlier. But you want to teleport to this quest bell. Now, it's not important to do the quest bell. Where is it? Aye. An ad? Wait, did they? Bow, stunting runt! Guess you that's unfortunate. To war. Greetings, King. I agree. But you get vision with Krakadrak. That's what actually matters over there. Gonna get another quarreler. Child of may your ancestors watch over you. Agree. Storm Dragon. And this is gonna give me some Obey. vision on Cafe. Lord of all. I have provinces to govern, men to command. That's also the clear war on Azazel. Now that was a bit unfortunate what just happened there, because I would have liked direct vision with Krakadrak. But the road to confederation with Krakadrak is now open. Because yes, you can confederate this way. How it just happened over there, that was <laughs> not exactly ideal, but I'll make use of it. Regardless, we do have a significant diplomatic relations benefit with dwarves, and keep in mind with our low level of grudges, we have additional diplomatic relations with dwarves, so we can make use of that. And if we can avoid the war with Trog, even better. All right, Krakadrak's army is finished, unfortunately. Not ideal, but uh, we can work with that. Ready, ready. As I said. Honor to your ancestors. We can indeed work with that. It's just that Trog no wiped them out. Throng, sure enough. The snow. Bowed. See, yeah, that's. Speak quickly. One of the unfortunate effects there. That was pretty quick for him. Actually, no. Alright, we're gonna switch to the regular commandment. Gotrek, Keep recruiting with Gotrek. Master of Runecraft. Trog is likely going to declare war on us, but we do have a bit of time. It is a Hail Mary move, I'm not gonna lie. But if it works out in your favor. Really now. 
All right. I don't need the money right now. So I guess I'll just wait until I have a bit more experience on my units. Now, the best scenario is if you do gain Krakadrak at tier 2, because they would have a barracks of at tier 2 over there. Gaining it like this is unfortunate, but I can still make it work. As long as you gain one settlement from Krakadrak, it's still workable. You might have to declare war on Trog. Or you might declare war on you. Wouldn't that be freaking lovely? I might have to endure the cost. Very well. To war. Sister. Ensure that you are over to as is. Frost weaver. Mistress. I speak for kiss. Sometimes she wipes the, the burrowslings out very quickly, creation. sometimes she doesn't. There's a lot of RNG, of course, because there's a lot of moving parts over here. Sometimes he doesn't wipe those as quickly as possible. Regardless. Rebellion gonna come up, huh? Of course it will. I'll just pay the price. It is a ridiculous price. The battle itself is a joke. Ready? Well, Trog is at least at war with some guys. Wanna get triangulation? All right, he's ready. What? Keep getting more units. We also have regiments right now. Frost, Kisler. Then be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Yes. The Snowbringer. Sister of Ice. Alright, she's at war with Azazel. We got free grudges there. Retake the realms. Salomon's going higher and higher. Fear no peril. Now, one particular and very important benefit that you got over here. All right, deal with the rebellion. Maybe get some benefits. Frat might declare war on you. Me declaring war on Azazel. Maybe not the smartest move in the world. Still, I uh, think I'm gonna want some catapults. Siege attacker is a nice benefit. Greetings, honorable ally. But you should be able to get Krakadrak, even if they're down to one settlement. This is beneficial the way I got it. The capital might be the last thing standing. There's been plenty of playthroughs I've done with Orgrim where I did get the capital. Kind of mistimed it over there. Regardless. I screw up. Plain and simple. Alright, get more income. The rodent tries to come up. All right, let's drink to victory. That sweet, sweet growth. We're gonna declare war on Clan Verms, so now you want to start moving south. But yeah, your first, your first confederation should be on Krakadrak. Could have sacked that settlement, I suppose. Of 
Yeah, I'm just gonna get two catapults because we're going to assault Karaka Drak again. I'm gonna get Thunder for the artillery benefit over here. Monster Slayer. And I don't need these units anymore. One more turn. And we can start getting the capital to tier two. Store. Natural Problem order. will be money, of course. Wishes no the I was not in child of frost. You need not face our might. If the dragon But there's ways around that. <laughs> yes. I appreciate. Worst. Uh, the struggle against a great enemy. Acceptable. There's gonna be a lot of declarations of war in this campaign, God. suffice to say. They are the ice goal. Mildred. Tribal fury. Call me Lord Craven. He's at war with Emrak. Who calls? I do Sterling. not words with the weak. Leave me. I agree. Sigmund's we should immediately win. surrender. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Yes. In the fest. So these kind of declarations of war are the lifeblood of your economy. Yes. If I have the opportunity of helping Barakvar out... Shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to. Scrag doing scrag things. Sometimes that does happen, so it is going to be a bit unfortunate. I might have to send Kotrakut Felix. Tretch may declare war on me over here. Keep that in mind. Send me to vengeance. March. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fine day? Yes. Barkbar does have some armies over here. Tier free. And more income. Yes. Dwarves. Sigma's will. Gizleth. I'd rather not declare war on the changeling. Aye. <laughs> ah. Natural. Ready to defend. And not to interfere there. Yes, we're gonna see how, like, the time it's taking Archeon to deal with the Sanishi faction is certainly time well spent. I do have enough money. I mean, the, the priority here is not... Onward, onward. One rag. That's not nasty. Windshaper. And not something I want to be involved in. No mess with me. What's your message? Agreed. Ready. Not just yet. Runlord. What brings the? What? Master Butcher, you should cook it alive. All right. You come bearing arms. Is it war? Sigma's will. Okay. That might give me the money I need. I... Just. Let's get another dwarf warrior. So now. Is ideal to balance it out. Now, you, I could have just sold that element over there. You might be put in a position where we can't get the barracks like me and it's not really worth it, but there's a lot of financial possibilities. Because you have an army that's quite capable of smashing Trog to pieces if you're only fighting one of his forces, and even two of his forces, um, if you're careful about it. Because Norskan armies, they're not 
particularly great against mass range units with uh, high level of armor. Guess what you got? <laughs> That's exactly what you have. Okay, so he's falling back. I'll take that settlement for him. It is time to battle! To war! Yes! Honor to your ancestors. Yes. Yes. Making ground. So in this case, I am gonna be forced to focus on Scrag, just because of how things uh, played out, if you will. For the wisdom of the layer. And what can the Dawi do for you on this? Yes. You come bearing. Damn. There were a lot of people. Demon. Sit. Tell me of your homeland. Let's declare war on Archeon. This. What? It's as good as done. Ah, I suppose so. Okay. We'll take advantage of that. Of his absence. Son of Now we from another hold arrive. Sure now I don't necessarily want to spend too much time dealing with Scrag. I not the ice goes. Because I got plenty of stuff to deal with. You wanna go for ballistic calibration, so that's pretty useful to do. And I'm gonna get some um, public order. So I'm gonna Hmm. Guess it depends on how it plays out. I mean, I could take Iron Rock. Oh, damn it. There's enough Skaven. Uh, there's enough Greenskins there. Not good. Um, especially if they get the Clarador on Barakvar. Alright, they're safe for a moment. Ready I want to take them out. Aye, it will better our cause. Wipe out the trespasses. Drink to victory. Throw Where are you? What? I agree. Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. As tempted what? as I'd be, I think I want them to rebuild at this point. Because if I take Bargvar, I'll be spending the rest of the freaking campaign dealing with all of this, so it's like I kind of want him to. To deal with that. Scrag will not attack Karazakarak. Even if he does, it doesn't matter. Wow. Impressive. Frostweaver. I return. Right, right. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. Understood. Can happen. You're just gonna have to react to the situation as it is. Okay. Over here, we want the growth because we want to get the settlement to tier two. Before he returns. Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink. Agreed. I am tempted. 
I'm not gonna lie. Not the chop storm summon up. I am sorely tempted. But not like this. Born to die. Alright, so that settlement is going to tier three. Inspiring presence, room archer. Frost weaver. Now, the reason I don't want to confederate Barakvar is also an there's another logic behind it. I want to meet Karakazul and confederate them. The uh, that's the reason. But I guess Gotrick and Felix are gonna have to deal with that. Not great. Not the worst, though. Where the hell? This is fun. The in the yes, body the dragon blooded. Sure, I'll start another war. Why not? Let's take that settlement because I know he's gonna be far away. Not storm some <laughs> child of sister of ice. Where the hell is the betterment of our peoples is our shared responsibility. Let us not what? I mean well help it, I'm not particularly concerned about that. This is gonna hurt. But my path is set. Karakazul might be collapsing over here under the pressure of Quake. But this will just end up working better. As I said, you gotta react to how things develop. So over here I'm gonna be to tier 3 soon enough. And that's gonna open up a whole world of possibilities. He's dead. Obey. Unfortunate. I'd rather not deal with Archeon. Astromark's still alive. What? Do not waste my time. Wait, what? I swear I'm not using any AI mods, so why the hell is it? I don't know. Sometimes Draco wipes out Big Haven. In a couple of turns, other times she just does that. Retake the realms. Don't ask me why, because I, I have no freaking idea myself. We'll hear it sure. Give them a barracks. Anad, welcome to. <laughs> On. I don't know who Azag is at war with, so I'd rather not intervene there. Giants. Gotta be concerned about the Zazel as well. Warzag is probably gonna attack me now. Well, so Scrag. Though this. 
Shit. <laughs> Uh, the one thing that I rather would not have happened did happen. I'm a world quick. GG. Well, it's because of the vulnerability. So I was gonna march on Warzak, so much for that plan, too. Oh! Okay. Another quest pal. Okay. Tier free. Various benefits have been made available. To war. Declare war on them. Easy enough battle with that kind of army. Send me to vengeance. Throne bearers, move. And what? Kislev. Quickly. There is much you risk. Not in. One ra ah. The ice. Go. The. I. Kislev. Well, I'm gonna live with the miners. Though this particular army I could possibly wipe out in a certain way. I'll show you. Heed me. Celestial ancestor. Cathay extends the hand of welcome. We make up. So when confronted with a situation like this, what you want to do. Ready. Who's win the celestial? <laughs> what? They are Kislev. For orders all. Mighty am I, I. Yes. All right, he's a war with Festus. Let's get that declaration of war. Yes. Agreed. We do want to get there. He well. I think I'd rather not risk it. But I gotta risk something. Or it's all gonna come crashing down. Let's get that rune smith. Okay. That will keep me going for a bit. So, options. I the dragon blooded. Get now, Skulls. speak. There's Ready. no diplomatic the deal, Obey. except what? for one. Not the. Finest yeah. one, but it is one. Let us discuss. Ma you are courty. Remember what I said. Dwarves do have good auto resolve. Combine that with some regiments renown. And this battle will be one, and it would be one in vanilla as well, because the ca the garrison that I got there was full strength. If it wasn't full strength, yes, that would not be doable, but it is full strength. Hit me. Still not enough money. 
God, how you will suffer and scream. Let's declare war on Manfred, because why in the hell not? What? Onward. Natural storm dragon. What? Me. Repel chaos. Kneel to Ursan. No. So that will be enough to destroy them there. I say that because. The reason I say that, the reason I dare say that, is um, I speak with the demon. What ails you, friend? There. All right. That will keep me going. Could get the slayers if I want to ensure victory here. Master of Runecraft. So now. We get uh, to deal with uh, the inevitable. There's a reason why I didn't do the quest battle and it came down to that. Though realistically, I, like, yeah, I would, like, if I was willing to, uh, to manually play any battle, then yeah. But it was Crag destroyed. Barakvar should be under a lot less pressure now. Is he tired? Point taken. Just gonna fill up this army. Oh no. Well, I managed to survive, but I kind of screwed myself over, didn't I? <laughs> Ah, uh, Zizal, I me. do hate thee. Is that winnable? Who I. Okay. Tell what? That way from another hole. <laughs> Jeez. You may speak before my shield. Mm -hmm. Oathbound. What? Dwarves. On it. Talk about a lot of stuff. All right. Instrument of the divine. Good day. I will compact. Iron. The dragon blood. Salute, civilization. And a lot more diplomatic Salute options. Sick. Child of. By the I <laughs> celestial ancestor. Yes. Raja. Well, I was gonna save it for Rich, Rich I so. other things. My axe thirsts for war. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is gonna be awful. This is not a good idea, I gotta say. This is really a really really bad idea what I'm about to do, but I'll do it anyway just because screw it. One rug. As the High King commands. Child. Also because I have two freaking armies full of units that I can use. Send me to vengeance, the High King. So why the hell wouldn't I use it? Aye. Beast Slayer.
Lanad. My axe thirsts for war. Oh, Vlad may be coming for me. I don't dispute that for a moment. Yes. Natural or one. Two full armies full uh, two armies full of dwarves. Can beat him. Give this guy the master rune of spite. And we can defeat Azazel. It says heroic victory. I I'm sorry, I'm gonna be blunt. This army smashes Azazel. The only concern here, like I may have even gone overboard over here. I would like to drink to victory, but in this case I can't. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I just obliterated the Zazel. I didn't just win, I annihilated the bastard. I'll cast the runes. Feels good to be the dwarf overlord, huh? Dragon. Attention. <laughs> I, I. Celestial. Let us stumble through diplomacy together. General. It is time. Jump. In. I am a warrior of the dragon. I greet we. thee, Shits. Of course, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of those armies, but. Because I can't really maintain all of it. But taking Drakenhof? Bloody hell, is that worth it? Let's march. What? If you don't get that opportunity, it's fine. Master of Runecraft. Just gonna get rid of these My two. Anger burns bright. Can I help you? What do you want? You got more growth. For the wisdom. Of Valea. Now we from another hold arrive. Tis a great day. Aye. Sigma. Child. <laughs> Taking the envoy. So now he can spend some time rebuilding all that. Alright, rebellion incoming. Sully my presence. And huh. Oh. Haven't even killed Scrag yet. Guess we'll just do that. Why it'll go trick and Felix March to the old clan Verms and Queek. I also need to pay attention to Tretch, but that's <sighs> the way you'd win this. You'd control large army, give AI control to your guys, so you get so this army comes under here. It would be a difficult battle, but Vlad, but this particular arm, but they would have no leadership until you start dealing with units here, and they would be coming one at a time. Vlad can kill your entire army on his own, but he can't quite kill two entire armies. If it was just one, sure. But you saw that result resolve, resolve. But that's where getting two armies for confederation is, um, two dwarf armies can deal with a lot, even Vlad. Truth be told, I probably would have you probably would have been able to out resolve that even in the vanilla game. Maybe not. Faction potential does play a role. Not. Seriously? Summon me if you dare. Arg them. The axe thirsts for war. For the wisdom of the land. Ready. So while they're not necessarily the most efficient armies. Let us begin. The throng agrees. For the wisdom. They will get the job done. 
I'm not gonna do that quest battle until one more turn expires because I want to keep that casualty replenishment going as much as possible. Ah, oh, the terrain here, I swear. The runes are cast. Goblin. We might get sandwiched between two armies, but that's fine. Seriously. Yes. There are those who. Yes. Or Nat friends of Kislev. We greet my people. The dragon. I. The moor. Attention. I am a warrior of the dragon. A compact. Sigma's <laughs> favored daughter. General. It cools. It's the Riddlard. Well, that's not really an art. Oh. I suppose so. That is an army I gotta be concerned about. Okay, with this or that, I would normally get heavy corn stones, but I need the ammo, ammo wagons. I mean, obviously, since... <laughs> um... Jeez. Ganked up, huh? Kinda walked into that one. Still. Wait, what? Send me to vengeance. Freaking village. Blue freaking shit. Lord of Clan Morgan. Yes, there is but one fate for all who so you Yep. It hungered. <laughs> one rug. Read it. <laughs> Sacrifices in what? Child of ready to defend. Green prof. Born to rule. Chieftain of perhaps claw pact possible. Just need some security. You have yes, yes. That might come to bite me in the ass, but might pay off as well. I just need the money. <laughs> Oof, this is gonna be nasty. Very nasty. The good news is Karakazul is still alive. Okay, after this, I'll just leave that territory. There's no reason for me to stick around. I've dealt with... Holy shit. I am the High King. I will... You know what? I might be willing to entertain Avlod. Later. <laughs> Much later. It is time. I'll risk it. Track Off we go. All right. Cele Celestri I thirst. The more. I'll get on it. For freaking hell. Denied. Azazel. Lord of the death. Natural authority. Devour. 
Sigma's will. Leader of men. Oh, that's what I get for declaring war on Azazel, don't I? The axe thirsts for war. Fight them. Time for a reckoning. To war. Let us begin. By Sigma's will, come in peace. So be it. Yes. We Just cower before me. Guess Strika has, uh, <laughs> has got some problems. Over there. Tempt me not, dwarf. My patience grows short. Champion of the dark. I think I'd rather have a buffer. Bow. Besides, Northern Sylvania is not valuable. Southern Sylvania is obviously so. My axe thirsts for war. What dost thou want? Dwarf, my will is done. What dost thou want, dwarf? What? Still gonna have to delay that quest, pal. Time. Time for a reckoning. Okay, I'm just gonna dismiss these guys. Keep the range units. Onward. <laughs> Same here. Perhaps we will get the rebellion soon enough. Yes. This is a bit much. Not gonna lie. Yes. My coupon awaits. Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts. One rug. But the nice benefit is Karakazul. I mean, you can confer with Karakazul pretty quickly if you get vision with them. Because they're almost always going to get put under pressure. What? Hey, Kostaltin, you Where want the Lair of the Troll King? In the great Orthodoxy's name. Yes, I can be a bit of a troll. I'm not worried about Trog. Not against the tier 2 garrison. Not with that, not with basically his starting army. Kind of worried about this, actually. Also a bit worried that I may have poked Drazov, which might blow up in my face. Just saying. Then I don't have the money to maintain another army. Although, I do have the capability of taking my army from Sylvania. Yeah, the inevitable attack. Let's see if. Uh... Greetings. What do you require of the Karaz ankle? King. I thought I smelt irks. Everyone. Lead 
Well, Catrin is gonna start taking back territory. Run away. Keep me upright. The High King acts. There's still another army. Fortrek Gernishak. I'll do the fighting. Let us fill our pockets. Wait, what? Storm Dragon. Is it ah, Tretch? Favored. Call no. me. What? The more. <sighs> I gotta deal with that, unfortunately. General. I stand apart. I gotta deal with a lot. Move. Thou shalt treat me with the respect I deserve, or die. Yes, that will give me some yes. time. Red Nat My coupon awaits. By the crutch bearer's will. What? For the wisdom of Valea, let us begin. None. I suppose Castalton did what I had hoped he would do. I agree. Ready. I'm going to withdraw this army. All right. Yes. me. What's yours? One for each. The, the heroes are unleashed. To war. Thanks to his special skill line. So I guess we're losing. Losing that over there was not too big of a deal. Hey, to see it though. Get training. One of the principal benefits is like how many heroes you can get in this campaign relatively early on, just for the special skill line. Oh, we're not done, Scrag. <laughs> Wait, where am I gonna get a rebellion? Oh. No, not there. Not there, not there. Oh, okay. Demon Slayer! Yes! Gotrek Gernishan! The more. In effect. Celestial General, on behalf of Cathay. What? Attention! Repel! Favored! Chaos! Rick! Sigma's will! It is time! Eat! Eh! Tretched! Devout! It cools. Just a tad bit of money. What greetings? You well, know, truth be told, he's already won against them, so. I agree. Or maybe not. Maybe I just did a big fucking mistake. I misjudged that. He's winning. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Well, in my defense, if Azak is winning, I guess you would want to intervene anyway. 
little wet army, but we'll worry about that little detail later. Thankfully, I have territory to spare. And I can get more artillery. The the reason Azag is able to win against Ungurum in this situation is because Ungurum's principal army just took out Red Eye Mountain. And then sat there until Azag declared war on him and this is what you get, basically. 11 met Karakazul for whatever reason. Alright, the raid remains. We got our rebellion, let's go. Retake the realms. But the that. will binds me to you. It is agreed. It shall be done. The throng is mustered. Let us begin. Not for all the gold unto the peaks. Renricky. Don't The Celestial! Let's not allow pleasantries to delay the septum. The Iron... Child... Another declaration of war. I'm told ruination. Kajuk, Kog! A reckoning in blood! Okay. Dismiss the useless cattle. Monster Slayer. Eyes peel, lad. On the move. What's a trap for the ambushers? Let's march. Gonna switch to the recruitment commandment. For the wisdom of the layer. Now we can get the fane here, but we are limited by capacity. I'm just gonna get a master engineer. I lied, what can Great! I More Skaven! No. <laughs> like that uh, yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Off. I'm gonna get the peace agreement over here. Ready to do the dragon blood. The not wind. I appreciate. We make Kiesler. It is. How's the empire doing? By the yes. Pretty decently. Got most of the middle land Born. back. Ice Queen of Kiesler. I don't like these grudges, they're not particularly useful. So what do I want now? Well, you can get the inspiration leader, but fuck it. I'm not interested in that Words. shit. An accord bound by runic law. This time. Keep the growth buildings there. We're gonna make use of them. They shouldn't be able to attack anything this particular turn, so I'm not strictly in a hurry. Send me to vengeance. The High King moves. Quake shouldn't threaten me really. Oh, Barak Var does have a full freaking stack at this point.
Maybe I drive Scrag out. Of course. A freaking course. Regiments are in now an emergency recruitment, and if that fails, get Forgrim. He ought to do something about it. The winters are far getting their ass handed to them. <laughs> well, considering I destroyed three of their freaking armies, I'd expect so. Can't mind dispute. You got so much diplomatic relations benefit that doesn't matter. One rug. And what can the devil there it do is. for you on this fine day? Agreed. In the face. Onward. Anad? Yes. yes. Is Baragvar the best choice? The High King acts. Beards in belts. For real. Jeez. I mean, it's just Skaven Slaves, thankfully, but. Yes. Regardless. What? Rune of Swift Stride. Yes, beards in belts. By Grimni, the Sedel. Keep in mind, I'm still at war with Razov. The fun times await. I'm gonna get the barracks over here because I want to get rid of the one in the capital. Actually, I don't need it anymore because it doesn't decrease fame capacity. My axe thirsts for war. Gonna get an artillery shop soon enough to our level. Lord of Clan Morgrim, by the Damas Cron. Iron Weld. I see past your sins. For now. There will be no... Good. Uh, you... I, uh, I am ready. Got the entire province under my control. Into the darkness. Look, I can... Obviously... Drink. Worry about them here. I am or I can worry about my objectives. I'll worry about my objectives. Honor to your ancestor. I for the wisdom. Oh, okay. Great. Summon me if you dare. If this is I'm told to ruination. I let us be about this. From a I stand tomb rot. My coupon, oh my great prophet. The axe thirsts for war. I honor to your ancestors. Darkness comes. Have you come to pledge me your loyalty? Fine.
for the wisdom of the lair. What? As the High King commands. Lord of Clan Morgrim. What? Yes. Throw bearers. Let's march. That is pretty rare to happen, but it does happen. Good. Grimnir's axe so the army I have right here in um, Zulfbar is going to have to march there while the armies they have there. Like I'm going to have to try and save Belagar. I'm not quite sure if I can. But if I can't, I can always cause a rebellion. Ready. The dra I don't want to declare war on anyone. Yes. That reasoning. What, dwarves? Should I add any good? Leader of talking is not my strong point. I accept. Alright, that's enough money. Oh, darkness come. What a mess. Strat. Favor. What the cluster hell. Zhao Ming. Imri. Lord. Jeez. Now. We're deep in it. Fear the pirate queen. You come at me, lover, but I am the daughter of the sea. Now we're talking. Miao Ying. And I gotta be reminded that I'm going to lose that settlement in just a turn. Good, Good stuff. There's no more quest battles, I'm afraid. Let us begin. I don't necessarily need to care about Karakurn. It is a good way of getting vision of Belgar, though. And also push, putting pressure on Scrag. He won't attack the capital, it's too well fortified. Just concerned about... This. Gotta save Belgar, basically. I could have declared war on... Uh, All right, Clan Verms is gonna take that side city. Well, unless I got lucky. Yeah, there is a limit. Throw banners! Let's march! Contract journey, son. Okay. I'll do the fighting! The occupied good good loyal to you! Ready! Be done! Like one of the things you might want to do in this particular campaign is actually rush for Karake Peaks to take it as a tier 2 settlement. Celestial ancestor. Where there is understanding, there the drag it hungers <sighs> the more child our affiliation has been beneficial would you not say unity you may please great god mouth let me charge i'll cast the runes if you say so, Beardley. Alright, force march all the way here. Storm Dragon, through me, you have the Celestial Emperor's A boon to See that. Uh, Heed me. Wind. 
Obey! My axe thirsts for war. Well... Time for a reckoning. Will be set. What brings you before the heir of Lund? All right. The natural master butcher. This is going to be a mess. The throng agrees. Foolish, stupid. Wow, gee, thanks, Belagar. <laughs> I just saved their height. It was. Not a pleasant one, but by the grudge bearers will Yes, more. Your servant will feed you the The Grudge Should I give him the breathing room he needs? And if not Going after our Nessa. Now I'm gonna get heavy corn stones. Seven turns. A few turns after that game crash, I've stabilized over here the situation for Belagar, and uh, I am now playing a tug of war with Scrag, who keeps attacking me. One of the lessons to remember with respect to playing this particular campaign is if you get a peace treaty with someone, you should treat it as temporary. Unless it's an order faction, but if it's like, like Scrag has a tendency of going after, after you, if you've... Uh, like, he really wants Barakvar in this particular campaign. And he's got two armies over here, like, he's recuperated. Yeah, make sure you finish off your opponents, because they're going to be coming back. But it is important to take care of K-Peaks, even if in this case it does have a scale and plague, because it does provide the Grand Unraid Junction, which is pretty substantial, all things considered. So, income from all buildings in the province, campaign movement range, casualty replenishment rate, in the province. Besides, Karakay Peaks is great because of all the building slots it does possess. Eventually, you do want to make armies of Iron Drakes, uh, maybe some Thunderers, crack cannons for the sake of artillery, master engineers. This is one of the key benefits begin. of Forgrim's campaign. Your short campaign victory condition is relatively easy to acquire. You just need to deal with 30 Salamons and deal with one of the major grudges. If only so many campaign victory conditions were like that. And the thing about that is it really increases your hero capacity. So over here I have five fanes, five, six runesmiths, because you increase capacity by one when you construct the building. Five engineers, basically. So it's like the armies that I have here, every single army that I have here has heroes, all of the hero types. The only army that I have that doesn't have any hero type is this one over here, just because I can't recruit them in the far north. And it's like, I'm just... Well, I managed to stabilize the situation here. Like, Rocket Rock is certainly an investment and might not pay off for a very, very long time. But keep in mind what you're really doing here. You're removing all of the pressure on Kislev, so they'll be able to win against Frot. In the process, you secure the entire northern flank, because, yeah, guess what? Um, Ungram did have managed to eventually win against Azak in this situation, which is what he will do most of the time. <laughs> then there's Belagar. Oof, poor Belagar. Have you come to pledge no me? one wants to confederate with me anymore, because I... I don't know why. Don't ask me. Like, well, I guess I do understand why. Come, come, I don't have 150 kid. diplomatic relations kid. with any of them. Step forth. Though I am certainly plan. getting there. Then once I get there, the confederation penalty is going to be removed. Yep. That's essentially it. Once you get to the point of getting a lot of these heroes, like the con victory conditions gives you free heroes, but Forgrim's special skill line gives you one hero capacity for each of them, as well as other benefits like missile strength for artillery, all that kind of stuff. So it is... A useful skill line to have to get all of these to save up for these like 
getting 15 growth in a local province pretty important you could like if you're struggling early game you could delay and just you know get the ancient bloodline when you get there because like obviously you're not going to use these really the full effect of these until you get the hero recruitment structures but yeah Kara's Akarak. Once you get that, once you get all that hero capacity, it's like, it's game over for anyone that stands in your path, basically. Because, like, these armies end up being ridiculously uh, strong. Also quite funny, I dealt with Vlad in just one battle, and it's like Carl Franz who shows up and finishes him off. That's how it works. Stay tuned for more.